everybody, it's Lisa Burningham, and I am so glad that you're here with me. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these two no-sew girl gnomes. They were so easy to make, and the form that we are using is something that you might find at a cemetery. Are you curious to see what it is? Well, stay tuned to find out. Now, the first thing that I do when I create my gnomes is I get a form. Now, in the past, I've used some styrofoam cones, I've used some wood triangles, I've used some little pom-poms, and today, I'm going to use some cemetery vases. What? Yeah, I was at the Dollar Tree in the floral section, and I came across these vases that were right next to the faux flowers. And I pulled it out and I thought, you know, I wonder if I turn this upside down, if it would work as a form for my gnome. And guess what? It does and it is a great choice. For the shaggy beard on my pretty little gnomes, I'm using some yarn that I got at Michael's. Now this cream colored yarn is a little wavy and it's just perfect for their pretty little hair. To create the beard, you're gonna essentially make a giant tassel. So you can either get a piece of cardboard or a book. I'm using a clipboard. Fun fact about me, I love clipboards. <laughs> I have them all over my house. I love them. I love making notes on them. I just use them all the time. So a clipboard was an obvious choice for me. So what I did was I took the end of my yarn and I placed it right underneath the clip and then I just began to loop it around the clipboard and around and around. Now, I made about 50 loops in my to make my beard. I want it to be really shaggy. If you're a girl and you've got a beard, it might as well be the biggest beard that you can have and just rock it and own it, right? So once I was done with looping my beard around the clipboard, I took a piece of yarn and I slid it underneath the top part of the yarn. I made a loose knot and then I pulled it off. So after I pulled it off, I made sure that it was all nice and straight and then I tied the knot on again. So I took that little piece of yarn and I tied it on really tight into a tight knot and then I got a pair of really sharp material scissors and I cut the bottom of the loops so that the strands of yarn would lay flat. Once I was done creating my tassel, I placed it on top of my form. I held it up and I took those same sharp scissors and I cut off any straggling pieces and I made the bottom of the yarn really nice and flat. Then I took it back off, I got some hot glue, I added a decent amount of hot glue to the top of the form, and then I placed my yarn tassel back on top and smoothed it all out. I pressed it down pretty firmly so that it would adhere really well to the form. Now the pokey part on the cemetery base actually came in really handy because it held the giant yarn beard tassel in place while I got everything hot glued on top. So who knew that a burial plot vase would work as a gnome form? For my spring gnomes, I decided to do some girls because I thought it would be bright and cheery and I wanted to embellish them with all kinds of flowers and pearls and ribbons. Now it's time to make the hat. Now this is a no sew gnome, so we're just gonna be using material and hot glue. Now the material that I got for this first gnome is from Hobby Lobby, and I needed a 12 by 12 inch square piece. So I cut out that piece, and then I hemmed the bottom of the hat first. I put a line of hot glue along the edge of the fabric and folded it up about a third of an inch to create my finished edge. Then I flipped the fabric over so the finished side was face up. I put a line of hot glue along one edge and then I folded the fabric over and pressed the edges together. Now I wanted a little pizzazz at the top of the hat so I got a ruler and I measured two inches down and I cut some strips about a half an inch apart and then cut down two inches lengthwise 
and I did that along the entire top of the hat. Once the slits were cut and the glue was dry, I flipped the hat inside out so the finished side was now on the outside. All of the materials and measurements for both gnomes will be listed in the description box below. Then I gathered the top of the hat together and I got a piece of twine and I tied a bow around it. Now the twine's gonna help in two ways. The first way is that it's going to close the top of the hat so it's nice and secure, but it's also going to make it so the little strips of the top look like a pom-pom. Now to embellish this little lady a little bit further, I got some of this chiffon trim. It's from Hobby Lobby and I got a little bit of hot glue and I put some hot glue around the hat and I just placed that trim right along that hot glue that was pretty close to the brim. And then I wanted to embellish her just a little bit further. It is spring after all. So I got some hydrangeas from the Dollar Tree. I pulled the hydrangeas off of the stem and I also pulled the leaf off of the stem. Now there's this little plastic part at the bottom of the leaf. I just pulled that right off and that way when I went to hot glue that onto my trim, it would lay flat. And then I also took those white hydrangeas and hot glued those on top of the leaf as well. Once my hat was finished, it was time to put it on my gnome. But before I did that, I wanted it to stand straight up, so I filled it with some polyfill. Now this makes it look really nice and round and has it stand straight up nice and tall. So after it was filled with the polyfill, I put it on my gnome, I placed it on the top, and I just wiggled it down until I got it right in the place where I wanted it. Once my hat was on my gnome, it was time to put the nose on because the hat was in place, so now it's time for the nose. Again, I'm using these pearls that I got at the Dollar Tree. They're just pearl beads, I love them. And I thought for these girls it would be nice and pretty. So I got a little bit of hot glue and I put it on one of the pearls and I placed it right in the center of my gnome, right underneath the brim of the hat. And I held it there in place until it was nice and dry. Now it's time for the fun part. We are going to style the beard. Now on this gnome, I decided we'd do some braids. So I did a braid on either side. I took a segment of the yarn and I braided it. And then once I got to the bottom, I tied it together with some more of that twine. And then I got a segment of this chenille trim that I used at the bottom of the hat. And it was about a two inch segment. I put a little bit of hot glue in the center and then I pushed them together to form a bow. And then when I had my bow, I hot glued it onto the end of the braid and then I repeated the process on the other side. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, welcome, I'm Lisa. I do DIYs and home decor on my channel. I post weekly videos and I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. And that's it for this pretty little gnome. But of course, every girl needs a friend. So I decided to make this gnome as well. Now, everything that I did was exactly identical to how I created my first gnome. However, when I got to the hat, I decided to embellish it a little bit differently. Now, the material itself is from Joann's Fabric. And again, I just cut it into that 12 by 12 square and I hot glued it together and then I cut those little strips at the top so I'd have a cute little pom-pom. And then the embellishments that I'm putting on top are number one, the trim is from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to hot glue that around the entire perimeter of the hat. And then I'm also going to put some flowers on it because it is springtime. So these flowers are from Michael's and I just pulled the flower off the stem and the leaf as well, and then I took the leaf and I pulled that plastic part off, and then I was able to hot glue it directly onto my hat, and it laid nice and flat. And then I took that pink flower. Now, this pink flower had a thicker piece of plastic at the bottom of the flower, so I used some scissors and I cut that off, and then I hot glued that onto the hat right in the center of the leaf. 
Once her hat was done, I wanted it to stand up nice and tall, just like my first gnome. So I added some of that polyfilm inside, and then I wiggled the hat right onto the top of the gnome. And then I added the nose. I got that same pearl bead. I added a little bit of hot glue to it, and I placed it right under the brim of the hat. And now it's time to style her beautiful beard. So what I did was this time we're gonna do some piggy tails. I divided it in half. I took a little segment and I got some of this trim, this pink trim, the same trim that I have on the hat. And I tied it around the little piggy tail part and I tied it into a bow. And then I repeated the process on the other side until I had two cute little piggy tails. Now both of my pretty little ladies are done and it's time to style them. So I'm going to put them on my buffet table. I'm going to add the bird's nest that we made a few weeks ago. I'm going to put a few little speckled eggs around and then I'm going to add a chalkboard sign that tells people that there is a phenomenal egg hunt this way. I just love the way that these pretty little ladies came out. They are a perfect piece of decor for spring. And they were so easy to make because they were no sew. So all we needed was a little bit of hot glue and some creativity. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked these gnomes as much as I did. I know that they're gonna be a great part of my spring decor. Thank you so much for watching.